hey what's up guys welcome back you're watching full take so six day before i created a video for the new rom awaken os for the one plus six and sixty later again i switch back to siberia to create the new video but the awaken os team developers are doing great job they fix the most of the issues and added bunch of the amazing features and released the new build two days before so to install this you need to download only rom zip file and the dm variety to disable the encryption but if you are coming from the other ROM, you need to use the finalized zip also and need to wipe the data partition. After downloading all the files, go to the security and remove all the pins and the password and then boot phone to the TWRP. So all the things are done here. So without wasting any time, let's get started. On the new adventure. So official TWRP 3.6 is recommended, link is given under the video description. Now tap the install and locate the awaken OS zip file, flash it. Here at first I flashed the corrupt zip file so I got the error in a red line but later I successfully flash it. After this tap advanced then tap flash current TWRP. If you don't have this option flash the TWRP installer zip. Now flash the finalized zip file. Now reboot back to the TWRP again and flash the DM variety encryption zip file. If you want encrypted ROM then don't flash this zip file but later you can't able to access the internal storage in a TWRP because of the encryption issue. Now go to the wipe and tap format data type yes and done. Reboot to the system now. This will wipe the data so keep the android and the data backup also. If you are in Awaken OS, no need to format the data for the dirty flash, but developers told to do the clean flash to avoid the conflicts. So phone booted to the nice looking Awaken OS boot animation. As I done the clean flash, I got the full setup screen. If you do the dirty flash, you will not get this. So after completion, let's check about device. As this is the same old build with the just additional features, add-ons and the optimizations, we can see all the things are old like the Android version is still 12. Same Awaken OS version is Aura 2.4. This ROM is maintained by the awesome developer Vikas Aka Optimus, who is maintainer and the lead developer of the team. Security patch is still old 5th Feb 2022. Kernel is 4.9.227. It's a normal kernel, not an Optimus kernel. Say Linux is the permissive by default. This is the latest build of 5th March 2022. So let's see what is fixed in this build. The major bug of the USB OTG got fixed. As you can see, I am able to connect my OTG pen drive and it's now accessible in a file manager. One of the major bugs is for the VoIP calls like the Duo, WhatsApp and the Telegram applications are fixed by the developers so no more shuttering or the volume bug in the VoIP calls now so on. But still some things like the OT updater app is force closing whenever I try to check the change log which I already faced in the previous bits. Next major thing is, if you are creator and using the external mics, your voice can't be recorded via the external mic in the kind master like applications. Except these all things are working and they are just awesome. Let's see what's new feature added in the new build. If you go to the settings and under display, you get the old color profile section, which we all are missing in the, all the Android 12 ROMs. Even the Siberia ROM is missing this. Color profile like the natural, boosted, saturated and the adaptive are really making the difference in the screen quality. Especially I prefer the boosted profile which gives the punchy look to the AMOLED display. Monet engine was already available in the old build but in this new build they improved its accuracy and some more additional settings. After selecting the custom color we can change the colorfulness and the brightness which enhances the looks of the device. Another best feature added is the app lock using the face lock or the fingerprint lock. As you already seen the face unlock feature in the last build, now you can use the both of these to lock and unlock any application that you install on the phone. Just go to the settings, security, enable the face unlock or the fingerprint. Now go back to the app lock setting and in the protected app, enable the tabs for the application for which you want to use the app lock and done. We can unlock any application by using the fingerprint or the face unlock. Inside the display and the lock screen setting they added the ripple effect tab to enable or disable the ripple effect which we see at the time of the lock screen unlocking using the fingerprint. Double tap to check the phone on the always on display is added and it's working good. In the display customization tab we guess the ambient edge lightning which was not working in the previous builds now it's working in this build no issues at all. 
Battery temperature has been added in the battery start section in the setting. They also added a separate media volume in the sound section where we can adjust the media volume directly from the volume slider. Smart pause is added in the sound section of the setting. It basically mutes the sound of the any media playback on the device whenever we reduce the sound and unmutes it when we increase the volume. There is a specific timer setting also available for the smart pause. Pixel Launcher now added with a bunch of the new experimental tags in the search your tab section of the Pixel Launcher setting. This is all about the new features so let's see the performance of the ROM. As in the last build it's beated all the Android 12 custom ROMs. This time in the Geekbench test it's shown the similar result. I got the single core 501 and for the multi core it was 2057. Very close to the Geekbench average results. Overall ROM is very smooth, no lags at all, along with the good RAM management. So let's do the sensor test, as I last time didn't done any of this test. Now onwards I will see this using the sensor app. So here I tested the accelerometer, light, proximity, magnetometer, compass, gyroscope and the barometer. All of these sensors work and shown the correct result instead of the barometer, as our device actually didn't have the barometer sensor. Developers also done the Bluetooth code its improvement, added lots of the optimization so the ROM is feeling very smooth. For the OnePlus 60 special FOD fixing has been done in this build. So this is all about this new build and it's worth to upgrade to this ROM. Still I didn't test the battery life but at least for now as per the uses, it seems that it's performing good in the battery section. Still I will give you the full test soon. So that's it for today guys, if you like my work, please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.